Hey guys, what's up? Some of you may be wondering what I have been doing for the past couple of days. Why haven't I been posting Framer videos or Figma videos and what exactly am I into? Well, I can basically tell you I have been into Framer and I have ex been exploring Framer and I have done that since I obviously wanted to expand my knowledge on Framer. Or if I want to expand my knowledge on anything and that's what I would recommend to you, start working with it, start doing something with it. And I actually went ahead and created my own course website for Figma. So Figma Noob to Pro, as many, many of you know, I've actually introduced this really awesome course that teaches you all of the important things that there are to know about like Figma. And this is the course website that I've actually designed. So the current website, which some of you may have seen is really crappy, but this is something that I have now. So if we refresh, you have the grid coming in from the back, you have this coming in, you have the video coming in, and you also have grid lines animating. So you have current flowing in those grid lines as well. And then if I scroll down, you have the video size increasing, then you have something like this coming up. Even here, if you actually see, you have these lines animating at the top and the right after a few seconds. So even that animation is something that I've added. Now coming to some other sections, this is a section that I have, which is inspired by Apple Vision Pro. So imagine you were asking Siri, who is Asit and who's actually teaching this course? You have some things about me. You can also drag these things around. So obviously since I'm just viewing it on a preview, some of the things may be messed up, but you get the idea. So this is something that I've inspired. I've done something inspired by Apple Vision Pro. Then if you scroll down a bit more, you also have what's in this course. And then you have these things coming up. Now this section probably took me the most amount of time because this whole section, these whole cards are actually a custom component that are fetching directly from Teachable's API. They're not just like, again, boxes that I've created. These are coming directly from Teachable's API, which sucks because it's not giving me information about these lectures directly, which is something that I actually wanted to include, but I unfortunately am not able to. And then you have this component as well. Um, and I can talk more about all of the things that I've done. Then you have this awesome uh, gradient at the bottom. Then you have the pricing plans coming in from the bottom up. Again, you can have a full, make a full payment. You can make a three months payment. Uh, and also obviously for those who are actually interested in the Figma course is you get a 50% off on any of these payments, even the, quad, even the three months payment of $34, which is gonna be $17 or something per month. So if you wanna take it, definitely go ahead. Then we have the frequently asked questions which appear one by one. Now coming to what I've actually done here. So some of the sections, like for example, this one, as I mentioned, is actually a custom component. And I ideally Joe, don't just wanna teach you guys how to create like basic framer websites, which most YouTubers are doing. If you actually go to YouTube, mostly what they're teaching is like really basic websites and stuff, how to drag things around, like how do you actually insert components or create components, stuff along those lines. I am definitely going to going to be teaching you all of that, but I want to be better than that. I want my subscribers and my viewers to be better than that. So what I've done here is, as you can see, this is a course list component that I've actually manually, manually created myself. If I double click on this, this is the component itself. You can actually see the code directly. And I'm exposing a bunch of properties here as well. So if I wanted to change the color, I can directly do that at the top and I can change the size as well of the text. I can change the number size. All of these things are actually controlled at the top. I can choose the number of columns as well. So I've, I've given all of these things and the gaps as well so that when I actually take this to tablet or mobile, I can actually change all of these responsive things directly at the top of the component without necessarily doing these things in the code. Similarly, this particular example, this effect that I have at the bottom is actually also a custom component. This gradient is a custom component which I've actually taken inspiration from, from a really awesome website. I'm actually gonna link it in the description which is like something like designer or I, I don't even remember, but I'm gonna probably have that on the screen as well in the video. Uh, what you can do here, you can increase the opacity, the color, the gradient, you can remove it if you just wanna have a border or you just can, it can be really subtle. If you wanna increase the, increase the blur of the gradient itself, you can do that as well. So if the blur is a bit too much, then it's gonna appear like this, but if it's small, it's gonna look like this. So you can control all of these things depending on your own personal use case. Um, and then obviously we have the pricing plan section. And then here in the frequently asked questions, I also have an override on this particular section. And what this override is doing, frequently asked sections container, this list that you see, I actually have a code override here as well. So if you actually go to the frequently asked questions at the bottom, as you can see, this animates one by one. Now it, I haven't actually gone ahead and animated all of these things and given us different delay because that would be insane. 
that would be something a lot of other YouTubers probably are doing, but I'm not gonna do that because that's a waste of time and I don't want you to do it. So even if you have, let's say 50 items, it doesn't matter because if you write it programmatically, it's gonna all appear one by one and you don't necessarily have to worry about it. So again, as you can see, I have created that myself as well. If you go to the edit code, this is basically the code for it. Really simple, nothing really fancy going on. Actually, not this one. Let me see. Yeah, this one. This is exactly the code that's actually making all of that happen, obviously, along with this stuff. So if you want, like, I can go through everything and we can go through it one by one. But what I actually want to do in the next video, if you guys are interested, is even though I created this effect, I don't really like it. I want this effect. So this is... Uh, a really awesome website, Framer Overrides. And I can't really get this effect because it's not free. They're actually charging $99 for all of these effects are like $49. And this is a simple effect. So if you hover over it, as you can see, you have this line animating top, bottom, left, right. And we can create this effect. I actually want to create this effect myself for this, where we have a border based on our color. And then we have a white shine going all around this particular element. So this is something that I'm probably going to be exploring next. If you guys are interested, I can create a tutorial for it as well and we can walk through it. But yeah, this is what I've been doing. I've been basically, again, diving a bit deeper into custom components, custom overrides, framer motion, and all of that stuff, rather than just playing with the UI. So yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested in any of that, definitely let me know. Also, again, this is a course that I've done, Figma Noob to Pro. It's a really advanced course if you actually wanna jump on it definitely do go ahead because you get like Discord uh, subscription as well. And not subscription, you actually get onto my Discord community where I'm gonna be there. My team are going to be there to actually help you become better designers and then obviously better freelancers and earn a lot more money. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. And if there's anything actually you want to see on the framer side of things, let me know there as well. I'll see you later. Take care, bye.